friends, welcome to Origin Fertility and IVF. I am Dr. Rashmi Sharma. Today we will talk about ovarian cyst. It's a very common condition. So many patients come to us in a state of panic when they have been recently diagnosed with ovarian cyst. So ovarian cyst is, is kind of a small tumor detected in the ovary where the egg forms, right? So how many types of ovarian cysts can be there? So broadly speaking, uh, ovarian cyst can be either a benign cyst or a malignant cyst. Malignant cyst meaning cancerous cyst, benign cyst meaning non-cancerous cysts. So if we talk about benign cyst or non-cancerous cysts, there could be two types. One is a hormonal cyst or a functional cyst. These are uh, the cysts which are uh, which will not need much treatment. They will not need surgery. They are due to hormonal imbalance. They will just come and go. The other type of cysts are benign tumors. They will definitely need surgery. So if you talk about the first one, which is the hormonal cyst or a functional cyst. So if you remember the menstrual cycle, every lady, every month forms an egg. And that egg, when it ruptures around the mid-cycle, blood collects into that egg and that naturally forms a cyst. That cyst is known as corpus luteum cyst. So, so many times it happens a patient had got an ultrasound done, let's say around day 20 of her cycle or day 25 of her cycle because of some other reason and they have been diagnosed with the cyst and you know they forget their other causes but they come with a report of the ovarian cyst of about 3 to 4 centimeters. So, my suggestion to them would be do not panic. It's the same egg, it's the same cyst which is very normal. And you can see it on day 20, day 25 of the cycle. So what we have to do is, we have to repeat an ultrasound on second or third day of the cycle and see whether still the cyst is there or not. So many times it will have already gone away. Many times the cyst might persist. Then also we don't need to panic. So many times that cyst will go away either on its own. Sometimes the doctor may give you hormonal pills or oral contraceptive pills for one month or two months or three months sometimes. So these are the most innocuous cysts which will come and go. The other type of benign cysts or non-cancerous cysts are tumorous cysts. So these are benign tumors just like uh, any abnormal growth on the body. There could be some abnormal growth in the ovary as well. These will not go away with the medicines. These will definitely need surgery but they are also not cancerous. The most common among this type of uh, uh, cyst is dermoid cyst where there is abnormal embryonic tissue growth. Like we can see sometimes a teeth in the cyst, sometimes a hair in the cyst and these will definitely need removal. And these cysts are also very notorious for ovarian torsion. So many times the ovary will rotate on its axis and then it can lead to horrible, horrible pain and it's an emergency situation then. The other type of very common type of benign cyst is endometriotic cyst. So we have a full video on endometriotic cyst on our channel. Uh, you can see the link uh, in the description box. You can go, go and see the endometriosis uh, cyst uh, video on the channel. But this cyst also will need surgery so many times. Sometimes it will be managed medically. So let your doctor decide. If you have been diagnosed with endometriosis, let your doctor decide that what is best for you. There may be other types of benign tumors like serous cyst adenoma, like mucinous cyst adenoma, which will also need surgery, though they are not cancers. And the most scary type of ovarian cyst will be ovarian cancer, which is like a horrible type of cancer to have. It is so many times diagnosed so late and its prognosis is very poor most of the time. So that's why it is so important to carefully evaluate all the ovarian cysts because we don't want to miss a very rare patient of ovarian cancer. Ultrasounds have become very good in detecting cancers. Even MRIs help is taken to find out the character of the cyst and that can really uh, help us in pinpointing that this cyst should not be left behind and maybe this cyst has cancer. There is uh, also one blood test like CA125 which, will, which your doctor will suggest you that also tells us about the possibility of having cancer in the ovarian cyst. So I hope this video will be helpful to you. Most of the time the cyst will disappear, don't worry about it, they are functional cysts. Sometimes they are benign tumors which will need surgery but there is no emergency. Rarely they could be cancers which definitely should not be missed. So therefore a careful evaluation is very very important. 
So every Tuesday at around 12 p.m. we have a live session on our channel. You can write your questions in the comment section below and we would be happy to answer those questions.